as it was asked in chat, what my uh, what my wife thinks when I just start shouting about random nonsense. But I mean, she's still here, <laughs> so it's maybe it's okay. Um, I don't really respect the frog anymore. I this is a hard unit to balance, but like. All right. I mean, I guess if we sold three ducks, it would give the rightmost unit three six. Let's be a concerned Clementine. Hungry Hipster, kind of a great name, too. It's interesting, at least. Wait, it's, it's not one two. It gives one one. Wait, we won our first round? What the hell? It is one one. But it would, uh, dude, you're not wrong. It would also give the unit that we get from the level up the actual buff. Let's try that. That's interesting. Because here's the thing. I'm sure that it's bad. I'm just going to freeze you for a second. I'm sure it's bad in the sense that it only gives like a 2-2 a two -two instead of a 3-3. Three -three. But it seems interesting. I, God is my witness, dude. God is my witness. Fuck a seahorse, man. I think if we're going to level, combine, honestly, just toss me a little mouse. Although we will lose our strawberry. Let me... It's okay. What the hell? They went sicko mode? They're smarter than me? They don't even have a strawberry. Their strawberry team beat me. It's another duck. <laughs> what? Replace food shop. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. We'll get another strawberry soon. Combine me. That seems kind of not so bad. But I'm not... Am I really willing to buy, sell you for... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fucking front door. Buy an Okapi. Go ahead. Spam the question marks. Go ahead. Spam them. Spam them. Well, just go ahead. What was I, what was I going to do? Go ahead and say, what was I going to do? I was going to give it a strawberry. Then I was going to sell the kiwi. And then I was, I was like, it's going to have so many permanent stats. I'm going to be a fucking genius. What the hell, man? What the, what the fuck? Roll me? We're going to sell this duck later, okay? Don't worry about it. We're going to sell the duck later. Don't worry about it, okay? I got it. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to buy another duck. I'm going to sell our damn mouse. Give you a free apple. Look at that. He's a 3-5, man. That's pretty good. Then we got this 3-3 three, three pug. He's going to be a 4-6. Look at that. Holy cow. All right. This doesn't seem great. So we can recover, okay? We can recover. All it takes is one bad turn. It's another damn duck. I don't believe it. Why not, man? At this point, and you're going through hell, keep going. So you could for no reason make your duck become a little stronger. <laughs> That seems pretty good. I don't know. Well, they might as well add you to the team and then roll three times. I see the pseudo jellyfish. It might be worth. It might be worth trying. It's not like a big time synergy, but it's something. The Giga Duck. Don't. Hold on, hold on, we're winning these, man. We won a round. I can't believe it. Sell me. Buy me. Level me. It is tempting to sell a duck to buff a mantis come out as a 
Nine four mantis. You give two experience to the start of battle. I think you gotta try. Thankfully, it works. Okay, now, obviously, you get a little buff on rolling, which helps with our Okapi, but we also wouldn't mind just getting something that fucking dies. So, for now, I would say, give me the stats of a 2-5 for one round, and then fucking kill it. Dude, I was laughing so hard. Kate and I watched all the... We're not, like, really Star Wars fans, to, or, or at least, like, you know, super fans to begin with. But I was laughing because we watched all these um, tours of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, the Star Wars-themed hotel at uh, Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney, one of the Disneys. Um, and every time they went to the restaurant, there's, like, a buffet, right? Salads. Stacked as high as you can see. Marinated mushrooms. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, it's a cool little fish dish. Wow, there's tons of those. Then they go to the section with the chicken strips. That shit is bone dry every time. I, you could not make up a joke more elegant than that. Don't get me wrong. I ate chicken strips two times in the last three days. I love chicken strips. This shit just makes me laugh every time they go to the buffet and all like the oat cuisine that people would pay through the nose for normally is like untouched and people are just hanging out by where the tendies come out. Some lady with like two blue snakes coming out of the back of her head. She can't get them out fast enough. Anyway, sorry. It's just funny. It's just funny. Okay, I'll pay I'll pay two gold for this. This is a nice buff. You have an acceptable faint trigger, but let's roll because the Okapi gets a sick buff. You also have an acceptable faint trigger. Technically, we could give you a level up. <laughs> I guess now that I think about it, any level one unit gets a level up from the pug. What the hell? So, just, you got to be a little careful. Roll. We're not buying more doves. Don't worry about that. Roll. We're getting no copy buffs. We're rolling. No copy buffs. Now, the Okapi could also get, well, that's not really good. But this gives us a jellyfish trigger, which is interesting. And then friends level up, give it plus two, plus one. And I'm like, hum, 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 hum. I don't know what you sell for that, though. So go ahead and pass me. So basically, I got I think the pug could, and I didn't think that this would be the case, but I feel like the pug could accidentally be like a a late game supercharger if we manage to live that long, because we are on one HP. Buy me. Roll me. Buy me. Roll me. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Roll me. Yes. Roll me. Sell me. Blob me. This kid is definitely on strawberries. Please, please. No! Oh! It was gonna work! That was gonna get our copy to level two that we roll, 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 roll. Oh my god. We were getting there. Okay, I think, I mean, that one went highly wrong when we bought the Okapi instead of um, selling the duck first. Let's not make that mistake like 10 times more, okay? Let me back with a little Super Auto Pets browser. Make sure you run the casino once more. Oh, it's, it's already running. Yeah. 
Yes, that's how it's supposed to look. Excuse me, Guinea Piglet is not the only good unit. We got the 10 wins with, with the Fox, which is the greatest unit that's ever existed. Okay, freeze me, place me, place me. I'd rather have a 2 1 with sellable upside. You gotta run in a. You know what? Would I rather have a 1 3 or 2 1 ones? What an interesting conundrum. Um, I would rather have a 1 3 with a strawberry, but freeze me, because I just like the way. I like your vibe, man. It'll be a clean package, okay? They should make the fox a tier one. How fun would that be, man? No? It would be really fun, though. Roll me. I guess that would have been a good time for, like, a seahorse, huh? It would not be fun. I think it would be, like, the funniest thing in the world, actually. What does the fox say? I still think this is like we're years out now, but I still think Malf's best tweet of all time when what does the fox say was the biggest song in the world. He said he's had like 10 people come up to him and say, what did the fox say? But nobody ever comes up to him and asks how he's doing. It's an all timer. Okay, now you got to think a little bit, okay? You definitely sell your kiwi. Buff your iguana. You sell one mouse. You purchase a koala. You feed the koala. Let's get it popping. You could also feed the yak. I'm not going to deny that, but you sell that. You get them popping. You know you're buying a yak. We roll again. None of these units appeal to me in the slightest. Um, I would rather roll for a unit I respect. You know what? I think a Puffin could do some work for you here. A second Yak? Okay. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Now, this Yak is probably going to die. We got to figure out how to keep the Yak alive. I guess maybe freezing a Peach would have helped, but... Early Jellyfish? That's the exact moment when a Jellyfish can show up. Which is why I offer my thesis that the Jellyfish is actually ass. I don't think it's very good. I think this is just my thoughts that maybe the jellyfish needs to get a 2-2 on level up or something. That's just my thinking, though, okay? I'm not saying that that's, like, that's how it has to be, but um, I'm going to sell basically everything on my squad that isn't a koala or a yak is disposable. Hummingbird goes, actually, you know what? Puffin goes first. A 1-3 that does 2 damage, no thank you. You at least give 2-2 two, two to the Iguana for now. We're going to add you. You scare me, so I'm going to give you some broccoli. I want you to stay alive, okay? Then roll me. For this turn, I would have no moral quandary about placing three yaks and watching the koala go to the freaking moon. Um, I think we might want to freeze a peach for the future. So these yaks are going to get combined and live a little longer. They're also going to level up on an odd-numbered turn, which is the damn dream. Should have frozen broccoli. Should have frozen some broccoli. That's pretty true. You know what? That's pretty true. We probably lose to this incredible leech. But that's fine. I like where we're going in the future. Okay, <laughs> just think. You want to combine this way. That's an unbelievable buy sell. Holy cow. I don't really care if you buff the koala, but I'm happy you're going to be buffing our woodpecker at least. Please buff the yak. You piece. Okay. We know we want a woodpecker, for now. We're probably get yes, okay, just think about this. You're alive, you're still alive. There's no, there's no tears, okay? 
straight up, take a peach right now. I'm going four squatted. You could take four squatting. I'm waiting for broccoli. You could take four squatting as a negative thing. I'm telling you, it's a very positive thing because it it depends. It depends whether you're four squatting because of a, an accident or you're four squatting on purpose. And we are four squatting on purpose right now. Now, it just so happens their team is a lot better. So they got, they got me by one. They got me by one. No big deal. We're not even on lethal. I'm not crying. I'm not in sweat. I'm not shaking. I'm not crapping my pants or anything. The yak's still popping. How about a second damn woodpecker, man? How about a woodpecker that shoots itself? Now, you're going to get sold for something better. You probably want a cucumber on you. But we, we got to pivot accordingly. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. We're going to sell you... Okay, for now, this, this dude's gonna get sucked just because I worry that our yak is gonna die, okay? This koala, all we need on this koala is one pepper of the green variety. And then we're going to the damn moon. Two wins. Okay, keep it going. I would like you... You're going to die if you don't get... Forget the cucumber. You need an emergency HP injection immediately or you're going to die before a cucumber pops. Even if the cucumber maybe goes first, it's only going to keep you alive for one more turn. We need a broccoli stat. You can at least take that for now. It would also be best if you didn't get shot two times. I know, I know how this looks, okay? Just work with me first. So you'd become a 9-9 nine -nine if I send you out there? Okay, let me think about this for a moment. Um, I love the way you're scaling right now. Can I just say that? I love the way you're scaling. I'm, I really don't want to give up two hurt triggers. It would be a temporary 4-4. Four, four. But to get a 9-9, nine, nine, I think I would accept it, okay? But I don't want the lion to get sucked. I don't care if our koala gets shot. And you getting shot temporarily is fine. The problem is... If you get hit, you're basically getting hit for one... But you're only getting hit 1.5 at the start of battle. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. So you go to the... You go second. Get shot. Nobody cares. You get... Yeah, we don't want you to get sucked. You can get sniped. You can't get sucked. That's the thing. Is this modded? Gmart, this is the Super Auto Pets test build. Teamwoodgames.itch.io slash super dash auto dash pets dash test dash... Someone in chat will give you the link. They came out with new animals on the test patch. It's a, it's a damn crucible. It's, it's the Elite Four. There's 55 new pets. It's crazy. Okay. Perhaps, perhaps you can stay alive with some broccoli, okay? Roll me. We could level you up. What, what happens, do you do two damage when you level up? Chad, don't lie to me. Does he do two damage when he levels up? He does one damage twice. Holy shit. A fox is just too good to be true. You can't hit the koala. Because if you hit the koala, it doesn't get the trigger. Because it's friends behind get hurt. So, you can't shoot... If you shoot the yak, the yak will die, but it'll only die in battle. We could live with that if we had to. But you could also shoot a leech and a fox that is going to steal a peach. Or a broccoli. 
I would live with either of those. I would. What's he eating? He's eating the. Okay, so he's a he's a damn one ten. That's all right. If we can get him to steal some attack buffs, we're going to be very pleased about this. The yak is dead though. The yak is is gone. I don't think there's a realistic way to keep it alive. I would pay three gold for a green pepper to keep it alive. If that shows up in our shop, just because it generates so much for us. Let's go, man. This koala's insane. Okay, use your brain. We don't really need more koalas here. It's not necessary. I roll. Unless two... You know, I'm going to try to keep you alive. <laughs> I'm going to try. I got to be honest with you. So you're, you're dead as we speak. I want to keep a tempura shrimp for you to eat it. <laughs> and then I want this to be broccoli. Or any, anything that gives HP. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I want the fox to eat the stew. And then give all these units. But do you go first? End turn. And you're probably going to go first, though, you piece of shit. But what if he doesn't go first? What if he doesn't go? The order has got to be yak first, man. It's got to be yak first, right? But if I gave you shrimp... Then, I should have rolled two times first. I was just so excited. Now, it'll eat, and there's... We're going to give up two gold. I apologize. But there is a 60% chance it gets some. This is a, You're absolutely right. This is a, if the yak dies, we'll be happy to have a triceratops for the future. Send it. Yes. Let's go! He's pogging. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still pogging? I'm still pogging. None of my other units do anything. I'm winning! Okay, real talk, the leech is not that good. It has generated some value for our koala, but I think we're reaching the point of diminishing returns. So, I think I would rather keep the yak and try to keep this motherfucker alive. Oh, although you're right, leeching a triceratops for a permanent buff. So you're generating two temporary, you're generating Four, four. No, you're generating eight, eight for our koala every turn. Okay, here's the damn deal, okay? I don't think we need to sell you this turn. I think the dream is you keep the yak alive this turn, and then you can sell the woodpecker to fit Triceratops Leech when the eight, eight buff is no longer that necessary. So what we're going to do, and not everybody's going to be a huge fan of this, we're going to try to keep the yak alive. Keeping stew in our back pocket, very realistic way to make this happen. You would become a 13-7 unit. I'm happy where you stand. 5-11. Losing one HP to the leech this time. I'm, I'm content. Now, I don't... Just because I said I'm keeping you around doesn't mean I'm keeping you around long term. Get the hell out of here. We don't want a strawberry. We need to be able to purchase a food. A tempura shrimp. Roll me. That's the damn sauce. You take this, and you live to fight another day. We don't roll. We should have rolled one more time, but now we don't, because we want to make sure you're getting the damn stew. 
You didn't give it to the yak. It's okay. Life goes. That's why we play the odds. The yak lives to fight another day. You get a nice permanent bonus that now makes the woodpecker disposable. Soon. If not this turn, maybe next turn. Easiest win of my life. Yak is more disposable? Don't think so. Okay. There's some obvious plays. Of course the believers want. Like you were sweating it? Green pepper on the koala is just a gimme. I'm thinking... I'm still thinking. Sell me. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for you to go. Then, I definitely want you to get sucked and shot. Don't take that out of context, please. I want you to get sucked and shot. The suck is the most important because it gives a permanent 3-3 bonus. Now... We're going to freeze this. We got a lot frozen here. We're looking for one good food to purchase. I, it honestly doesn't get that much better than a green pepper, to be honest with you. I feel like you would be stupid not to at least give that a chance. Um, and let's just put that on our fox for now. I got a feeling this guy's going to pop pretty soon. Now, everybody's going to get a nice little bit of HP, or many people are going to get a nice little bit of HP. You're going to give a buff to somebody. To the woodpecker. Okay, and then you're going to give... I mean, our, our koala is going to be going too high. It's, it's going to be going over 50. But I can live with that. We may lose this round, though. We may win this round. You're still using a yak? <laughs> Imagine using a yak on round... What round is it? Round 11. Oh, my God. That's so embarrassing. Yak user detected. Wow. Wow. So, with God as my witness, I feel like um, the second fox used properly might be more utility than the woodpecker, which is generating too many buffs for our koala. But that's okay. I would, ra I would rather ride the team we got right now and not worry about it too much. I would rather go like this. I don't respect any of those. Roll me once. I don't want you to eat popcorn or tempura shrimp, really. Oh, you know what? You could eat, if you ate a tempura shrimp, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I'd rather you didn't eat a broccoli. Don't need the koala. Now, here's the deal. I'd much rather you have the damn taco. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll. Then we're going to feed you the motherfucking shrimp. And then you're going to give three random friends six attack. It's a beautiful thing. Frog effect. It's... it's the patch just came out like sometime this weekend, okay? But the, the frog effect is no longer permanent. It only works on the specific battle that you're in, which is much, much worse. So there's eight. That's pretty good. This is beautiful. I'm not sold on this vulture, okay? Because here's the thing. I know you're like, well, you don't need the HP for the koala. It's true, but we are generating 24 stats just from having the woodpecker temporarily, which is really good. We got to make sure our fox steals something half decent. Roll me once. Honestly, this is insane. Um, I'm going to give you a fried shrimp. You can give everybody else uh, an orange. They can get a ton of extra HP as a result of that. We'll get a level two fox next turn. And a level two fox, I think the HP and, and attack effects will be tripled instead of, instead of doubled. I'm a simple man. I don't see green peppers. I feel very confident in, in where I stand right now.
12 stats, not 24. Okay, let's step through it. Let's rubber duck debug. You give 1-1 one, one damage two times to two enemies in front. So you hit here, generate something for the koala. We don't care. You hit here the first time, that's going to generate 12 stats. But then it repeats. The second time is going to generate another 12 stats. 12 plus 12 equals 24. QED, 24 stat points. Wait, what? Am I, I mean, everything felt right there. I could write it out in Latin. You're counting total stats? Yes? That's correct? It only does six plus six, it repeats. Now, the confusing part is that you're going to be like, it repeats two times, which means it goes three times. That's, this is just ambiguous wordplay in the game. Because the yak repeats one time, it only happens once. It's just the, the, the verbiage could use a little bit of like, you know, ISO certification, but that's, it. that's the only thing. Six plus six plus six equals 18. Just get a piece of paper. Can we accept this true? That every time the Triceratops takes damage, it gives 12 stat points total. Do we accept this truth to be self-evident? Okay. Then, this hits the Triceratops two times. Is that correct? Look at those two sentences we just agreed upon. Draw the logical conclusion from this data set. I think we're on the I think we finally got to the same page. Twelve, twelve, so twenty-four. I would agree with this. I, your conclusion, I would say, and my conclusion are compatible with one another. They are the same. Hold on. In a pinch, if we gotta freeze this to make sure that you don't eat something garbage, I would do so. You know what? Let's take the risk. I don't want you to eat a peach or a green pepper, really. We're going deep on this one. I would love you to eat an orange. I don't... You know what? Fortune cookie wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but let's see if we can get two wide buffs. Okay, that's also really bad. But let's see. Just eat the orange, man. He ate the, eat the damn orange! Let's go! <laughs> What a champ. Bro, this is so cringe. Your whole team has strawberries. Like, Triceratops, try feeding an animal that's not the koala 2022 challenge. Hold on. We draw these? We lose these? I don't know how to do mathematics. Okay, we're on lethal. Let's be realistic. You're not getting levels, and this round is likely the end. Buy good foods. You know what? For the time being, why don't you just take a popcorn? Why not? I would not be afraid to give you a fried shrimp. So look for another good food. Not good enough. Not good enough. Very much good enough. Eat the fried shrimp. Distribute 6 HP. Because effect, effects are multiplied by 3. Did I say 3 HP? You're giving out 18 attack. 18 attack. I almost caught myself on the wrong side of the, wrong side of the law on that one. You made fun of them and lost, Raffle? First, first time? Okay, Triceratops buffed the leech. That's a dream come true. We're getting the 10 wins. It's just that the fox is insane, man. It's unbelievable.
All right. As soon as we saw the koalas and the yaks, we knew that one was under control. Also, I mean, the, the squad, the synergy was just crazy, man. The fox did incredible work. The leech plus the triceratops, great combo. There's some beautiful stuff on this one. Choose outcome. Wait a minute. Hold on. I see Malf. I can't see if you bet on this one, Malf, but are you... What is... Is that an angry fox face? Or is that a pogging fox face? The emote is Malf... It's not mouth pog. That's one of my favorite emotes. It's mouth ay ay ay. What is the emotion of ay ay ay? It's silly, right? It's like when you're having a silly time. Excitement? Okay. That's good. I'm glad you're excited. Me too. This is my excited voice. In a pinch. In a pinch. In a pinch. Give me an iguana. In a pinch. You know what? Just because it's funny. Just because it's funny, I'll take one of those. Must be a sticky hand. Sticky fingers? Nah, man. I stuck my whole damn hand in the honey jar. Honey pot? Honey. So, look. Honestly, I think that they should get rid of the political compass. Like the questions that are like, you know, do you agree with the statement to each according to his uh, needs from each according to his means? I think they should get rid of that sentence. And here's what the sentence is. Do, do you think it's fucked that the peanut butter jars are bigger than the average standard butter knife that you would use to scrape peanut butter out of the jar? Because a lot of people who are sane say, yeah, that's kind of fucked. Corpo servants say, why don't you just buy a bigger knife? Are you a craft shareholder? They don't like, I mean, they make bigger knives, but like butter knives are like the same damn size, man. You go to a butter knife at uh, Lowe's is the same as a butter knife you get from uh, Le Crusette is the same as a butter knife you get at the Daiso. Why are they making the jars so big? Just, just make the standard peanut butter jar size a smaller size. Lowe's doesn't have silverware? Come on. You could probably buy a butter knife at Lowe's, if I had to guess. Then I saw people say, use a spatula. I had never heard about this before in my life, that there's some people in, in the world who use like a, a silicon spatula to get peanut butter. Like eight different people, unbeknownst to each other, were like, have you ever heard of one of these? They use a spatula for the peanut butter jar and then use that to spread the shit on the toast? Are you, are, is your cellmate uh, licking flies off the walls? Is his name Renfield? Does the voice of Count Dracula from Transylvania speak to him? Has he used his contacts on, in the London shipping industry to arrange for himself and a bunch of dirt from his homeland to be sent here so that he could mac on Mina Harker? Because you sound like you're living in the damn sanatorium right now. Use a spatula to take peanut butter out the damn jar. Come on, man. This, it is a nice life hack. I'll give you that. Where was I? I cannot uh, sanction this tomfoolery. I would roll again. That's what I wanted. Yes. Okay, fine. All right, I don't know what we're doing. This is not great. <laughs> Their squad is also a little ass, which is, I think, a positive thing for me. We might draw this. We might draw this one out, man. Look at that. We had better stats. That should be a win, technically.
Now, here's my question. If I purchase a guinea pig, will it summon a guinea piglet on top of my existing guinea piglet? My guess is no. In which case, you guys gotta go. You gotta get out of here. You stink. Now, I'm not a big fan of the, of the seahorse leveling up, but it is what it is. Um... This is a, the most cursed shop you'll ever see in your life. For now, okay. And then you know what? Sure. This seems not good. <laughs> I lived, bitch. I still lived. Yeah, yeah, how do you like it? Okay, we draw these. Would I pay two gold for an apple right now? God is my witness? I might pay three gold for an apple right now. I mean, this is two gold for two stats. Total. This is three gold for two stats. Total. I would rather, I would, God is my witness, I would rather do this. Maybe the mouse is kind of, as long as you see the mouse as food, maybe the mouse is goaded, man. I don't know. It's just not our time. Okay, I, look, 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 fucking look for a second, okay? This is not going to work yet. But there's a certain je ne sais quoi. I would l we need the clownfish to get levels. Forget the tempura shrimp for now. Let's we're running uh, the strangest build you're ever gonna see. Temporary level ups that give temporary stats. Oh my god! What the hell is a viewer? Oh no! I'm going down. Trash build incoming. It's the only synergy and stats we got, though. It's the only synergy and stats we got. Sell me. Sell me. Buy me. Please. Buy me. Okay. Freeze me. Very interesting, but I say no. Yes, okay. Now, the jellyfish is going to level up. The clownfish is going to buff it. It's not good enough, but there's something. I'm not saying something good, but there's something to it. Ooh, hold on. I like it. I like it. The jellyfish gets a little buff. Okay, a hamster? I don't know. Eh, I don't know about all that, but sure. You know what? You're going to help me out greatly in the future, for sure. Definitely. Okay, roll me again. I guess we could, in theory. Sure, why not? Okay. I'll, I'll do one more just to see what we get. We didn't get anything good. That's okay. What future? You just don't understand the power of the temporary buffs we're getting. Hold on. Hold on. A win? It's more likely than you think. Easy. If you're sticking, you need a damn cucumber, okay? I'm buying this because I can. Now give me these beautiful rolls. Thank you so much. We might as well roll one more time anyway. Just this, well, I guess we should have bought that roll. Wait, 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 whatever. Buy me. Level me with the clown. Ooh, ooh, Charlie. Ouch, Charlie. Now, big plays. No, we don't do big plays. We wait one round. Big plays is usually what I say before I get my ass kicked. 
There's not even good foods. Or we gotta move the damn pug in front of the seahorse. We're missing out on a bunch of buffs, man. Holy cow, their team is just like legitimately mine, but a lot stronger. It made all. The, it, we would have drawn. We would have drawn. Okay, now just think for a fucking second. This is valuable enough to keep. Roll me. Might as well. We have no food. So this is actually like kind of tempting. I don't want to see that shit popping. Okay, roll me. Now how are we doing? Okay, that was our last trigger there. Sell me. Nothing's getting the level. Purchase me. Me, 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 me. Sell me. Purchase me. Me, 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 me. Give tempura shrimp to your seahorse. And then give somebody a nice 4 HP injection. Yourself. You know what? You got to put on your own life vest first. Fair enough. I'm okay. I'm alive. We live to fight another day. Okay. Oh, yeah. That food always goes to self. My mistake. Okay. This is a great situation to have a uh, some stew. It's a great situation to have some stew. Now, here's the deal. You are going to give a 3-3 buff. Why don't we just sell you and then get a 4-4 buff? And then have a flex space. Now, I'll be honest. I'll keep both of these here for a damn second, okay? I don't embrace it. I embrace it. I don't... We don't need it. We don't need you. Roll me once. You're gonna laugh. Give it four, two. Nah, man, nah. Look, we're gonna be eating both of these, okay? We're gonna sell the fish. Purchase a saber tooth tiger, probably, but just see what you get. See what you get. Purchase a saber tooth tiger. End turn. Don't stop till you're numb. That was a lot of stat points. Is it enough? It feels like it's enough for this round. That's three wins. Now, I'm happy with what we got here. It might be an okay situation to simply invest in a little bit of food, even though the food's low yield. I don't really want to pivot off of two foxes. Now, you're going to stay freaking frozen. You think we could do better than a peach? Probably. It's close, but probably. Just roll me. Tempura shrimp. You could take a tempura shrimp. Roll till you get to three, but look for a fox. Look for a fox. A saber. Okay, a saber tooth. Also great. You get a tempura shrimp. And then. Oh, but then we got two food. We're paying the fox. Can only steal one food. Why would you die? Because I was used to one fox meta. Son of a. Now I just got a five seven fox doing nothing, man. They screwed up their lion, though. We're still in this. They screwed up their damn line. Now we got the Orca. Okay. Yes. Stay frozen. Buy me. You need to keep two foods. Two good foods. Freeze me. Roll me. Two good foods. That's good enough. One fox will eat the green pepper. I don't I don't care. That's it's it's a beautiful thing. I love this. Okay. Run it back. Run it back. 
5-7 fox with the green pepper, not necessarily ideal, but if we get a level 2 fox, we'll be very happy about that. Don't crit me. Don't go, uh, whatever. Who cares what you do? You're too strong. You're the strongest unit I've ever seen. I'm dead as hell. I'm dead as hell. I'm the deadest man that's ever lived. Okay. Okay. Strong cassowary. Strong cassowary. You got me? I think if we hadn't thrown early, we got a strong late game in that game. We, we got to the rare scaling, but more power to you. My points, my points. It happens. Dude, I love the fox. Pay out the doubters. I appreciate when people write it in chat. It makes it more likely I'll do the right thing. Run the bet back. The seahorse was a waste. My brother in Christ, it shows up at tier one. People like pop into the chat. They're like, it's, it's round two. They're like, buy a triceratops. I would if I could. I have come to believe that the mouse has a certain something. I've also come to believe you guys can do something. We got to answer. Okay, for now, freeze me and roll two, two, threes. This is merely a stat play. I'm moving the mouse up. Let's be a domesticated beaver. I'm moving the mouse up in my tier one power rankings. A two, one that gives a benefit on sell, not that good. That's the luckiest draw of all time. However, because other foods are bad, I think this becomes good as a, uh, it, in, in, uh, requiescat and pace. What's the word I'm looking for? In, in the non-vacuum system. <laughs> if you, in its own isolated environment where the patch three foods are like all ass, a unit that is basically a two-cost apple is good. Okay, it's a beautiful start. Now, the seahorse exists just for leveling. And that's okay. That's worth it. It's a trap. Add a puffin to the squad and look for a strawberry. No strawberry. We'll get ready to add a kiwi. We got some buy-selling coming in. Um... Honestly, in this situation, I would simply roll. Hey, Rarad plays. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Roll me. Thank you. Sell me. Buy me. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We buff the puffin so that we are not afraid to get rid of a seahorse when the time comes. Because the seahorse doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, at all, basically. What a play. Especially because we have no iguana. That went very well. Great work. Now, at some point, we're going to... At some, at some point, we're going to do something, but just for now, roll me. This is not that helpful. I'm hedging my bets. This is what it looks like when one hedges their bets. Purchase me. We're gonna, it's going to be a buy-sell next turn. Because we want the levels. We need strawberries. Oh, baby. And you all said it'll never work. And by that, I mean nobody, but I made it up in my head to make myself have a little bit more motivation for this round. And we're living through the first attack. I don't know if we're winning this one, though. This, these iguanas, they're doing a little bit of work, at least. Hold on. Never mind. We're winning. We're winning. Get Michael Jordan. Flawless? Flawless? Uh, Loseless? Buff me. Uh, buy me, sell me. I do love a mantis, although it always never works out for me. So let me think about this for a second. Okay, if that's okay with you. 
It just worked? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna buy it. I really don't want you to get eaten. <laughs> I'd rather just roll. Come on, give me... Yeah, something with a faint trigger. Uh, Mouth, this one's for you. Something with the faint... Ooh. Something with the faint... Yeah, there you go. Hey, we... People thought I was going to machine gun Kelly that. Actually turned out to be fantastic. We draw these. Get killed. Get buffed. Get pu buff my puffin. Buff my puffin. Buff my mantis. Go ahead, kill the panda. See if I give a shit at all. I don't. Pog me. Maybe this can pop. Hold on, I'm good now. I'm good at the game, kind of, except for the uh, all those rounds I threw. No, I'm losing this one. That's a strong iguana. Never mind, I'm drawing this one. Never mind, I'm losing this one. <laughs> Hold on, we're, we're in a great spot here, though. This is our first loss. Level two mantis, I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, I feel like you just, you kill the blobfish and you probably just keep buffing the mantis. So I think maybe you run something like that. The puffin, uh, maybe you, well, give me a second to take a look at it. This shop might, might deviate slightly. You could always get another strawberry on you, mate. Yeah, okay, you know what, let's, let's do it. Let's make our puffin get a little closer. And we'll get another strawberry out there next turn. I think this could pop, man. I think this could pop. We need a fox, though. I mean, like, it's a guy who only uses fox. Getting a lot of fox vibes from this run. That's horrendous uh, mathematics for us. Sorry, it's only two losses. Fox? Mantis? What the heck? It never ends. Okay. Buy me. We don't need... Everyone chill just for, like, a minute or whatever. Um... I would say, buy me, freeze me, roll me. Do it, another blobfish would have hit the freaking spot, just for the record, but that's okay. They had the egg head. I've, I've had a shot across the bow. My ego has been uh, threatened. In the free-to-play patch, you the egg head is not a one-of-one. One. Anybody has permission to use it. My, my token has been funged. I finally, all, all those times I laughed about the, uh, all my apes gone joke, I no longer find it funny. Let me tell you that, I no longer find it funny. You could stick if you have to. We don't need a seahorse to level up, it's irrelevant. You take this. Puffin. Or a better faint unit. I mean, that's just good enough to keep around. Not that interested in a lion. I mean, an anteater is better. But we already get a 1-2 buff on something because of this. I wouldn't look to sell into an anteater just for that. I would sell into a blobfish to get the puff and the pop, though. Holy cow. Fox. Another mantis. Green pepper. I find this acceptable. So we're getting a level 3 puffin. <laughs> I could really use a green pepper right now. That's a strong koala. I can't be mad. I They're running the same damn team that I read. That's fine. I'm not sweating. I'm not sweating it. What's up with the title? Oh, yeah. We were playing Catan earlier. Now it just looks like I want to fuck a sheep. Title is I have wood for sheep. Okay. You need a green pepper. Without a doubt. God is my witness. If you eat a seahorse, I don't care. We need a fox to get out there. You're a 5'7". You're already popping. Now we're looking for berries. I wouldn't mind if a fox just ate a strawberry, to be honest with you. 
I think if he eats either of these foods, I would be laughing all the way to the bank. So let's just say, let's just say Pog to that. You're leveling up next turn if we live long enough to make it happen. He ate the soup. The soup is okay. It's okay. Green pepper sniped. Ooh, baby. He's running a yak. Oh my god, that's so embarrassed. That's so cute. A yak on round. Come on, man. 10? Are you crazy? That's so funny. Oh, man. Anyway, um, sure. Why don't you level up? Hmm, it's interesting. A 1-1 one, one to 1 pet behind and multiply that buff by 1. You know what? Hold on. You gotta use it once, man. Forget the piranha. I don't give a shit about the piranha. Give me this cool ostrich. Why would I want two attack when instead, realistically, I could get two attack and two health on one unit? Okay, you're right. This is probably a great time to run the piranha, okay? If you ate a strawberry, I wouldn't cry. I would rather you eat the orange. Why don't you take a piranha for now? He ate the orange. That's beautiful. That's very nice. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead! Now, nice little two attack on everybody. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna give you a strawberry for now. Now we can afford it. Roll me. There is a part of me that's like, you know, we really, okay, the most important thing here, the fox has to eat the hot dog. Which means we need to buy a unit and we need to buy a grape. The ostrich gives a 2-2 two -two to the puffin. Or whatever unit we choose. That's not that much, but like, you know, it's worth to spend 6 gold to get 16 attack. That's a, and actually it's 5 gold, we get 1 back. And then we get 16 attack. Don't, just, just don't give it to the ostrich. Just don't give it to the ostrich. You had one job. And then we got it. We got permanent stats anyway as a result of it. It's okay. Get sniped. Get, we sniped the fortune cookie. Go ahead. See if I care. Is that believer threshold? Oh, we, we already were past it. But anyway, good stuff. Okay, get fainted. We don't really need more experience right now. Now, I gotta tell you, if I'm looking at this shop, first off, you gotta keep this around, that's a given. A 4-4 buff, I kinda snooze on it. I kinda snooze on it. I would, I would rather blobfish a fox than, than get a, a wide buff at this point. You also aren't that big of a deal to me, although you would give a 2-2 buff permanently, we're past the point where that matters. More foxes? Nothing. I gotta, I gotta think about this though. Okay, just work with me for a minute here. Am I? I think I'm okay where we stand. Give the fox XP by buying the blobfish. No, this is not right. We need, we can spend three more rolls, which means we don't have to get the temporary shrimp if we don't want to. We can get something better. Soup for a wider HP buff. HP maybe not as relevant as an as attack. Maybe we can get two hot dogs. An orange is also incredible. Quite frankly, an orange is amazing. I would rather buy the orange and then distribute as much attack as possible. You would actually, you're like a, a weird goose for us right now. Now you're, dude, honestly, a Velociraptor is like a goaded. Let's go. Um, it, oh, he buffed the blobfish, you piece of crap. A Velociraptor is a goaded one-turn one item. Like, are you kidding me? The Velociraptor is coconut armor for three gold. It's insane. It's unbelievable. Oh, no. They're better than me. Well, we still got to pay out the believers, at least. Velociraptor might have beaten Bird there. You're, you're not wrong. Coconut armor difference. What did I tell you? Should he use the frog to swap stats? Not everybody reads the patch notes, okay? But the frog swap is no longer permanent. It, uh, 
It's only at the start of the round. So it doesn't happen in the shop anymore. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I, I feel like the frog has very little use now. But maybe someone smarter than me will, will figure out the seam that you need there. I mean, this is just a, this is a slap in the damn face. Does it, it, it does not upgrade when leveling. Incredible. It's still really bad, but I'm like, okay, I guess we could make a 2-2 a cockroach for a second, and then they'll swap. You know what? Let's just freak them out. Let's, let's get them on the back foot. Let's get them guessing. Let's be a comedic hipster. That's true, I guess. The frog does buff the salamander. Which, now that I think about it, is actually, like, not that... As long as you have a salamander, it's kind of a sick buff. Because you see a lot of tier 1s in the early game, obviously. Because that's all there is. So why don't we, like, you... And motherfucking... Like, you, I guess? It, you know, it doesn't make any damn sense to do this. It doesn't make any sense at all. And then we're going to... Uh, we're gonna buff the frog for reasons that make no sense whatsoever. Um, and we're gonna freeze you. This seems bad. <laughs> I would not predict the win on this one. That's okay. The unit in front would swap with the uh, enemy team's front unit. I admire your confidence to not even put a question mark on it, but um, we've examined this edge case earlier in the stream where we found that it says stats of two adjacent friends, and the enemy is not a friend, unfortunately. Sell me? Good buff. I don't really want to buy a cockroach. But like, any port in a storm, kind of, is ass. I am not having a great time on this one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sell my mouse and buff my frog. Uh, I'm going to freeze a koala for a second here. See what you get in this. Okay, a jellyfish. Honestly, a jellyfish was like what I was looking for. So I guess I would say that I, like, I still have found what I'm looking for. And this is like genuinely horrible right now. But just give it some time. We, for the frog to be like a meritous member of the squad, we need to get... Um, a unit that has an effect. Like in battle. So we're not there yet, but if we can get a unit that scales in battle or something, then there's something to this, okay? Now, first off, the jellyfish is getting something. Obviously, our koala is doing nothing. You're a 3-5. I like, I almost feel like I have to. Sure. You know, I'm, you're not going to love hearing this. I'm going to be buffing a pill bug. <laughs> you're not going to love hearing this. But I think this makes sense. I just, I need a draw. All I'm asking for is a draw, okay? I'm not asking for a win. Just to draw would be like so merciful. Are we on lethal? Not even close. Dude, we're still chilling. We're still chilling. Look at this. Okay. So the jelly the jellyfish starts to pop. 
There you go. Look at his popping, man. Then the pill bugs level up. The jellyfish pops even more. Holy cow. It's a 5-7 in the perfect circumstance. The stork seems like the right play. But I also can't deny that I love a mantis, man. The mantis has just been, has been incredible for us. And couldn't we like, here's the deal. We like a pill bug more than a cockroach. Buy a mantis, put it at the front. Move the jellyfish, obviously. And then swap the stats. Doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> but just try not to think about it too much. <laughs> Hold on, there's something to this. You guys, you guys are just haters, I think. It's probably it's always been your problem. Sad. Hold on, we won a round? I don't believe it. Why did I kill the pill bug? I meant to kill the cockroach! I'm so fucked up. Okay, you go here. Now we can put any shitty you to here, it'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. You take a cucumber for now. It isn't like that big of a deal. The pill bug is also ass, but it's like the principle of the thing, right? Cucumber. I mean, if I gotta, I gotta. Like, no, that doesn't make any. S but to give a strawberry friend a small bug, but you give a, 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 a. But but okay, I don't know, man. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess I would rather just sell a cockroach. I'm fucked. My brain is just, it's done. I'm like, it's not, it's not computing anything. I have no future prospects. I'm just, I'm off in no man's land, man. Hold on, we won? What the hell? That never should have happened. I'm just going to be honest. It's not due to my team. Their team was pure ass. Okay, something faintable. Why would you ever do that? Just think for a second. Homer... I mean, you do have a sell ability. That's what's interesting to me. It's just you go here. Buy me. Sell me. Yeah, it's fine. Because we're going to get rid of both of them anyway. 2857. I guess you'd rather have your 5-7 around the fight. And if the jellyfish gets killed, so be it you because you sell for more gold. Okay. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. You need some HP. Think about this for a second. Think about it for a second. Would we rat? What's worth more? We sell you, you get 1 1. But we lose 5 7 in the process. We lose 5 7 in the process. That's a lot for me. I think I freeze you. I think I send out a cockroach to be killed. And then we buy, sell the duck next turn. No! Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Sorry, sorry. We're okay. If I wasn't... that, I, I looked at that team and I was like, they're not that bad, but then they killed my only good unit and I was okay. I got a little, I got a little twisted up. I apologize about that. Okay, but check this out. Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Sell me. Sell me. Buy me. Buy me. Sell me. Buff me. If you got it, you got it. If you got it, you got it. We could buy a pill bug, admittedly, and then the pill bug would give us one HP. One HP. I don't get out of bed for one HP now. No sell me, no sell me, no sell me. No sell me. Okay, I sleep. No sell me. A starfish, cucumber. Here's what you do. Move me. 
place me, starfish me, freeze me, roll me. Sure. Sure, sure. Are you ready for this 1210 duck? Oh no. That, I mean, this is the dream. They got, they got the meta team. It is what. No matter what we did, we were not getting through this team. You just embrace that. That's Turkey Tiger Fly. You just say, congrats on your good shops. Hopefully, it happens to me next time. Buy me. For now. I mean, I'll definitely sell you. Although, I would really like a green pepper with God as my witness. I feel like a green pepper does more for us here than getting this sell. And I'll, I'll be even more honest with you. We keep the zebra for next round, of course. You roll a blobfish for a second, freeze the zebra, roll me. I'm vi as bad as this looks, I'm telling you, you're underrating the, the value of a green pepper. This is good. This is smart. It's sensible. I hate that they have a, a 1422 snake back there. We fucking lived. Now you need a green pepper too. Buy me. Super sell me. Holy cow. Sell me. Buy me. <sighs> Buy me. You're right. Green Pepper needs to keep its stats. This is fine. This is, he's not going to swap with anything. It's fine. But then you're going to... Yeah, you know what? I don't mind the fox getting a little extra. I would like the starfish to get a little extra. I don't mind you getting... I don't mind the fox getting a little extra. The only other way you could set it up is you could do like this, this, and then... It, oh, you know, that's true. Buff itself. That's very true. Then we would swap stats with you. Not a big fan of that because you got the green pepper. We could put you at the front and you here, and then that would also be... That would be functional. That's tough. That's tough. I mean, the mantis is the, is the devil we know. Let's roll that. What the hell? Coconut? Coconut armor on a, on a little iguana? Are you memeing? Okay. We can still use the fox as a distributed buffer. That does not... I'm not going to cry about that. I love this. We have buy cells though. You just always got to check a buy cell. Buy me. Roll me. Good foods. Distributed foods. No distributed foods. We don't have buy cells. We do have a buy cell. It's called a mouse dummy. Buy me. Sell me. Buff me. Buff me. Roll me. Something edible, please. I really can't afford to swap your positions. Just being honest. Um, why don't you give me a, a temporary uh, vulture, maybe. You never know. Come on, Fox. You can do it, man. Hey! Wait, this doesn't seem that bad. What happened to my green pepper? Oh, it got sniped? That's fair. A, a snipe is fair. That's, that's the law of the jungle. Oh, we lose, for sure. Fair enough. Five wins. Considering how like scuffed the early game was, I'm not crying on that one. I mean, we were running like multiple pill bugs. <laughs> like the whole time. Okay, we're going to run one more. Then we're going to run weekly, okay? I feel like I finally... Like the last few times I streamed Super Auto Pets, I paid out the doubters endlessly. Now I am playing the game and I am saying to myself, I'm not doing so bad. I'm like at five wins, six wins, maybe average. That's okay. That's not so bad.
We have a level up already. So I feel like we, I've got a delicious cucumbers. I feel like I got a good feel for the current state of this pack. Not like I'm the best to ever do it, but I got a feel for it. Which means I feel comfortable mixing it up a little bit. I would buy one more seahorse. I would roll once. I would purchase an iguana with this team. And uh, to be honest, I was, it's not a huge deal. Let's just put it on the strongest. You just be smart. Is a Kiwi's gonna buff it. It's gonna stick around for a bit. Why not? <clears throat> Get shuffled. Ooh! Get shuffled. Ooh! Feels good. I feel like the yak is almost like you gotta take it. It's that good. If you get a koala. And that ass with anything else. <laughs> Maybe it's... Hold on. You know what? Give me a capybara. It's a 2-5. Nothing wrong with that. Give me another seahorse just for the time being. Just for the time being. Roll me. I, I respect it. I respect more than anything else. I respect it. We sell you, buff you. Now our hummingbird has some utility. We roll once. I would take a second iguana. That's also is a little extra. It's going to create a 3-5 iguana. That's not so bad. For, the, for round three, I'm feeling okay. I really think like this, and maybe this is the strategy in the non- weekly or the non pack three maybe this is a strategy forever but i feel like i need to survive long enough to make it to like tier four and then i can play around not losing hp in the early game means i can play around in the later game why don't you combine no why don't you do yeah, hit me with this to start roll me for now okay um, sure. Why not? Anybody need some support with a fried shrimp? I would say no. I would rather roll here. You don't interest me in the slightest. I love the stats, but I hate what you do. Same boat. I say no. I, unless maybe... I'll freeze a salamander just for prospectus. That's it. Woodpecker that hurts me. What the heck? They're not running koala build. Is such a thing even possible? We, we lose this without a doubt. It's actually closer than I thought, but... I went to California Sushi. I ordered tempura shrimp. They gave me seven damn shrimp. I can't tell if you're upset. Because I feel like seven shrimp in a tempura shrimp order is a ton. I feel like you got a bounty, depending on the price. I also don't know, when you said California sushi, are you talking about Sushi California in, in BC? Because Sushi California is like a value sushi restaurant here that is cheap enough to be suspicious, but actually like n pretty good, like not... Like uh, Michelin star, I was gonna say Michigan stars, but like for cheap sushi, it goes. And when you order like a spicy tuna combo for the spicy combo, for example, it comes with a spicy tuna roll. It comes with uh, a cucumber roll. That's the one that they put in there just to be like, you know, we gotta put in something extra. But then it also comes with uh, an order of spicy tuna sashimi which is piled up like it's the size of like a softball tuna cucumber spicy sauce it's delicious and the combo is so cheap I, I can't believe it anyway that's this has been sponsored by um sushi california i'm gonna go a little sicko mode i'm gonna try to make a salamander pop okay that's helpful
Now we just got to get something that actually like works with it. The game approved. It did. The game said, okay. Do what you feel is, is best. It said, don't stop till you're numb. I hate math, man. Wait a minute. Do I hate math? No, I love math. Get owned. I'm better. Start of battle. Start of battle. What the fuck? <laughs> I might as well, man. Why not? Holy cow. It's a level 3 salamander. I haven't even bought anything for it yet. I don't know. I still like a mantis too, to be honest. I got a level 3 salamander in two turns. I see you also have a frog and are confused about what to do with it. There's dozens of us. Oh, well, <laughs> I deserve that. Start of battle. Every... They nerfed the salamander? It wasn't even good. It's okay. We give him a green pepper later. We're, we're pogging, okay? We're pogging. <sighs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Um, buy me? I'd rather get the gold straight up. I'd rather get the gold. Start a battle. You know what? Ribbit, ribbit. You're also a start of battle. Would you look at that? I don't think I'm getting Mantis. I think I'm leveling up my iguana. My iguana. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah, you should take a cucumber for the future for sure. Start a battle. Start a battle. Start a battle. I really don't want to lose this one. My iguana. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so stupid. Well, your koala already popped. What the hell? We win these? Let's go. It's Pog. 3-3 three, three on the salamander would have been broken. Yeah, but you can only get that shit like if you got... Like we got seven salamanders in two shops. That's never... That's going to happen like 2% of the time. It's, I mean, it's pretty strong. I'm just salty, I guess, but... But does nobody else see how fucked this is? We just gotta live till, like, Green Pepper Town. If we can live till Green Pepper Town, everything's okay. That one HP per turn is gonna, is gonna change everything. I lose these? Okay, that's a problem. This one's right on the borderline, man. That's a great idea that I did not consider. It's a this is perfect fodder for a lollipop. And then rebuild his attack. A oh, lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly 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 but um bum bum. I don't care if you're still gaining one HP per turn. That, that shit it can only benefit us in the long term. Ooh! A lollipop, a lollipop, boo. You think this guy would, like, live through an attack? That would be pretty pog. No? He has six HP. That's a lot. Ah, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't crit me. Ew, piece of shit. Hold on, this seems okay. It, it doesn't seem like I'm dead. I'm alive. I am alive and I'm winning. Okay, seahorse and iguana and hummingbird no longer need to exist if we can get better buff effects. I don't know what I'm doing with you, okay? So just chill out for a second. If I could get a frog and give the give the. Triceratops, 
the stats of the salamander, that would be very nice. I know it's only temporary, but it would still be very nice. So, I'm going to sell a bird. I'm going to purchase a bird. I'd rather get the gold. You're looking for start of battle effects. We're looking for a frog, quite frankly. We got a damn frog. It's a damn dream. I'm going to sell the bird. I'm going to purchase the frog. This is exactly what we wanted, which was an insane Triceratops that will buff us mid-match. I'm going to roll. I see another Triceratops. I see an Iguana. I don't really care about the Iguana leveling up. I do care about our Triceratops getting stronger. I could buy the... Here's the deal, okay? You could buy the Iguana. Get a... Tier 6 unit. And then sell the Iguana for 2 and buy whatever the Tier 6 unit is. Are you willing to put your faith in God's hands? A 3-3 three, three buff for our Triceratops. That's horrible. That's a horrible sound. I never want to hear that shit again as long as I live. <laughs> Don't say me eating P word. Gross. By the way, I'm insane. Many people are saying this is the smartest team that's ever existed. By the way, I'm going to die. I'm definitely going to draw, actually. I'm living. You got to get a fox out there. Or uh, Velociraptor with the guaranteed coconut armor, maybe, on our Triceratops. First off, I love you. We love a fox, don't get me wrong. Maybe you sell a seahorse run a fox. But then I got to tell you, I feel like I'm looking for, like, a, I got to freeze you for a second. I got I to gotta, I gotta think about this. Coconut is not a hurt trigger. Yeah, but it'll keep your ass from fucking dying. That's incredible. Who cares about a hurt trigger? Oh, it's going to eat one hurt trigger, so I'm not going to get a 3-3 buff on my damn frog. Okay, we need a strawberry. Just give it a second. You, you got you to gotta run it, man. Like, you got to run it. Fox is eating a taco no matter what. In that case, I say, get my gold out of here. Buff them with the tacos. Buff them with the tacos. Should have frozen the other taco, though. Saved. What the fuck? Don't crit me. Don't crit me. It is beneath you. We win these? I was getting shoved around like crazy there. Believers win. Still want more stats. So I hate to say it. The, the ostrich has got to go. I respect you. You've done some work for me. You got to go. You got to stay. You got to go. Start a battle. You got to come in. You got to go. Making our Triceratops even better. Roll me. Start, start a turn. Start a turn. I wanted to see a damn strawberry. I don't see a damn strawberry. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to freeze this. We're going to buy. That's unfortunate. That's okay. We need to run an animal that does something at the front here. Roll me once. We got double tacos. It's a damn dream. <laughs> um... Give give the friend a head plus one plus one until end of battle. Multiply buff with turn number. Ooh, okay. Why don't you give my fox a 12-12 buff? That's scary. That's just bad. It's not scary. It's just bad. I'm, I'm, I'm in a world of hurt. Pain is my only friend. Okay. I mean, honestly, I'm happy we paid out the believers. I think that the frog 
is not good. <laughs> I also think the salamander is like too nerfed. But it's only it's one data point. The salamander not ever getting any HP is like it makes it really tough. People will be like, oh, put a cucumber on it. Okay, yeah, I put a cucumber on it for 10 rounds. Guess what? Now it is plus 10 HP. It still gets fucking owned by like a 40-40 unit from that point onwards. But having to spend one space on your capacity in order to have a frog out there to swap stats... I don't know. It just doesn't seem it doesn't seem that pog for me, but make sure you pay out the believers here. Okay. 